Hello everybody and welcome to the bongo. So this is John's bongo that I did a video on um, a few months back and he phoned me up the other day with a few issues on it all. Now I've had a look into it and there is a few issues with it. Um, all independent from each other. But the one that we're going to be talking about today is this in particular. This is the heater matrix. So what has happened, I'll show you. Right, hello everybody. So. This is John's heater matrix. So he said, I've got a bit of a water leak. So I was like, all right, let's have a look, see what's going on. I found it was leaking from like one of half of the pipe. Um, the other half of this is still in the car, in the pipe, which I've got to get out. But uh, yeah, so it was leaking from here and I literally just touched it and it fell apart in my hand. And I was like, great. So we're gonna need to get a new heater matrix. I was thinking about, can we put a pipe over it? What can we do? But, uh, cause then we're gonna have to make um, a very large order um, to get a load of other bits for the bongo. I thought, I asked how much it was. It was 40 quid from bongo spares. Oh, which has still got stuff in it. Uh, which I didn't think was too bad. So I thought, right, well, I'll just go ahead and, and buy the new one. So this is the one that they've sent me over from bongo. It looks to be exactly the same. And as you can probably see, it has two pipes which aren't broken like this one. Now, I've never replaced, I never removed one of these before, but I've brought into the video now because I have actually replaced this, I've, I've took this one out and it was a bit, I took off lots of bits that I probably didn't need to, but I was trying to access as much area as I could and some bits worked, some bits didn't work. So I'll go over on the outside, the things that you do need to take off to, to access this or to make it a bit easier. And then I'll go inside and I'll show you on the inside um, what you need to do to take it off. Uh, and you know, it's not the prettiest, but it is um it's what's done i haven't broken anything so that's good so let's go and have a look at the top right so here we have the top of the engine obviously that is um where i've took off this the box here that's the bit that goes inside the car and then that bit sits on top of the uh, uh that bit sits on top of the the fan so i've took off that bit here which is which goes onto there. Not necessarily to, uh, to get anything I needed in there, but to, I had to take it out because they've rooted a, um, a return valve, like from the, from the coolant bleeding pipe, they've fitted a T-piece in, and this actually went through the box, or in the box, and fed it through the box. So I had to take that out just to, just, just to do anything. I took it off mainly to access the two pipes uh, for the actual heater matrix themselves, which is located just just down there so really all you have to do is take off that bit of box in there to make it a bit easier so you can get onto the clamps right so here we are now we're inside this is obviously this is obviously where the that it goes in there and then just here and here we've got the, the two holes that the pipes go through then why is this is here is we've got to like move the heater box out enough to be able to get the pipes out because they're like a good inch and a half that needs to go through there so you need to undo there's not there's a couple of there's a bolt here that goes here and there is not one further up on the other side there is a couple of other 10 mil bolts that free that off uh, and i did take out other bits as you can see i've took the glove box out i've took the radio out like you don't the glove box was really easy to take out you didn't have to take take the radio or anything out i was just doing all that because i thought i needed to take it all out to need to get you need to get that back enough and to get that back enough it hits all the intake pipes or the like the, the pipes that transmit the air to the different to the different sections to the different uh, vents and stuff like that so so that is that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put it back in okay I'll move you out of the way Just got to line up the uh, the body, so that's in there, which is excellent news. So there we have it installed back into there. We've just got to get this bit up here lined back up onto there, 
So basically I've just been levering behind that to uh, to give it enough room to then get them bit of pipes in. They're in now. We just And then we'll put this in here, we've carved that out of the way, put that there, and we'll put on the screws. Right, so now I've done that, I've put all the bit all the bolts back onto things I didn't actually need to take off. Um, I've connected up the pipes down here and I've put a new clip on the bottom one, which is what I think was originally why it was leaking. Um, I'm gonna need to reattach the pipe here. I'm gonna to have to which is this is the one that goes to your bleed pipe on the back of the engine yeah what they've done on this one is modified it so it goes into a t-piece so it recirculates back into there um, it's obviously had a lot of modifications and things like that to help it running which is which is good good to see um, all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up um, fill up the coolant uh, basically and then and do and run it I'm not gonna be doing that right now though because one of the other jobs that's happened is the bottom crank pulley has actually separated from the middle to the back so I don't want to run it too long uh, until I've got that bit done so that way it will be in the second part of the video so for now catch you later